video on uh, multiports and animating in Z-Depth is going to be posing out the scene. And I'm going to keep it fairly simple. I'm going to just put a keyframe on frame one. And just for your information, you'll notice that I'm pressing F and G, and that's moving forward and back on the timeline. That's because I've changed my preferences in my general. Next frame, I've made G. Previous frame, I've made F. I prefer to have F and G as my default forward and back, but the if you're using your default harmony settings, it would be period and comma, the same as it would be in something, let's say, flash. Okay, I'm going to just start doing some very, very basic posing, and it's really, in this particular instance, I'm not really too worried about the animation, because it's more of the technical side of what you're trying to do. So I'm going to quickly put the arm, and I'm going to pretend that this is the pose he's taking when his arm is behind his back. And I'll just change his cuff maybe a little bit. So something like that. Fairly simple. I'll make sure that's a keyframe. You should always make sure that you're making a keyframe. And I'm going to press Shift Plus to split those apart. Maybe make a little anticipation. Again, I'm not too worried about the I'm not too worried about the animation because I'm really not thinking too hard about what I want them to do. And I'll just do one more frame. Maybe where he Bend his knees a bit. Again, I'm not thinking too much about. I hadn't really planned too much about what he was going to do. But I'm just going to do some poses. Okay, and that's the end of the posing. So I basically have a little anticipation, and he goes, puts his arm behind his back. Okay, in the next video, I will discuss how to modify the art.